Okay, so the WinGet feature is amazing for anybody that's from Mac OS or Unix or Linux. This is the Windows Insider Program exclusive package manager for Windows 11. So really, it's pretty simple to use. Um, it's pretty similar to apt-get or just apt. Really, all we're going to do is we're going to use WinGet and we're going to search. So we're going to search for OpenShot which is the OpenShot video editor, an open source video editor usually um, used with OBS, which is what I use, um, and what I'll actually edit this video with. <laughs> but uh, really, all we do is we just uh, win get search OpenShot, and it's going to give us a couple things here. I'm going to use this package right here. So really, we just want to use the ID. We could either go based on this ID, which is from the Microsoft Store, or WinGet itself, which WinGet encompasses itself, encompasses a very large repository. So we're just going to use WinGet. We're going to right-click that, and I'll just copy it. And then we can just go WinGet, install, that guy. Okay, so let that install. Okay, you'll just see the usual installer you'd see if you were to just download this directly from the publisher's website or from the Git repository, which is where this is actually coming from. This is coming directly from GitHub. So usual install as usual. <laughs> and then the cool thing is just like in Linux and just like if you're using uh, Homebrew with Mac OS. Um, so this is installed, but the nice thing is you can actually update and upgrade these things as well. And to see the documentation on that, you could just look up update, upgrade, win, get, and you'll, you'll get all the documentation for that. But yeah. So basically, you can install everything using WinGet, just like you can get do with apt-get or pacman or uh, yum or any of those, or yay, any of those package managers or, or helpers or anything you need um, are right there at the, at the uh, uh, drop of a hat. Super easy, right? Um, I love Arch. I actually dual boot Arch. Um, uh, I do use Arch, by the way. <laughs> Um, but, uh, if Windows keeps doing stuff like this, like VS Code open sourcing that and, um, and stuff like WinGet and this GUI, this, uh, this beautiful, this amazing, um, user interface they have, the UX they have for Windows 11, which looks a lot like, you know, it looks a lot like GNOME, honestly. I think it looks a lot like GNOME and KDE Plasma mixed together. But um, if they keep doing this stuff, I will definitely stick with Windows 11. And if we can cut down on the telemetry and they keep doing stuff like this, I will just stick with Windows 11. So um, good job to the Microsoft team for this one. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you'd like to see more like this, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much, and goodbye.